my build is nothing special and actually it's really clumsy <laughs> because this is my first character and I really didn't know what will I do. I actually didn't know what my playstyle was gonna be. I wanted to join the berserkers like from the start and I wanted to use a bow. So naturally the bows needs dexterity and a bit of strength. So I started sinking in the points into dexterity, like 80% of the points I would get from leveling up and the rest of them I have put in strength. Now when I found the legendary two-hander Ignis, it looked really interesting to me and I really wanted to use it especially because it requires such high dexterity. So I made sure that I first reached the 44 strength and then after that my plan was to sink all the points into dexterity up to 65 and I actually made a few Alex potions to be able to use it faster and get more attribute points but I didn't want to use a bunch of Alex potions because I didn't want my cold level to fall down much. I wanted to be at least neutral. Yeah, and you could actually say that my stat spread is not actually for a berserker playthrough because 90% of the berserkers spells uh, requires cunning and I actually didn't invest one point in cunning and I'm level 33 now and I'm in the late game uh, because if you didn't know, if you take a look here like everything you see here will require some cunning Seeker Shot Cunning, uh, Camouflage Spell Cunning, Cunning, Cunning and the only spell that I regret I can't use is the Aspect of the Warrior spell which boosts your melee damage for 45 seconds but I really didn't want to use any spells because my plan was to use a bow and occasionally a two-hander like that Ignis and I only got a few spells from here like Scatter Shot and enchant weapon because that was a no-brainer really. I wanted to put effects on my swords and be able to use a scatter shot because surprise surprise I'm a range character. So yeah I figured that out at around level 10 that I want to be a range character so I started working towards it. The first thing I wanted to do was with combat skills I wanted to take one point in ranged weapons. Yeah for, for ranged weapons uh, rank 1 I can't remember what amount of intelligence you need, maybe 35 like I have at, at the moment or maybe less or maybe exactly 30. I think it was below that because I have put some more points later on in intelligence so I can be able to take a rank 2 in animal trophies which is a great money making skill and you should have it regardless of the faction you are in and regardless of the build you're planning to do. And I was actually thinking now to sink some more points into intelligence up to 55 to take the final rank but 2 out of 3 is actually maybe all you need but 3 out of 3 would make even more profit and if you want to make some more stronger rings or amulets like I had one uh, recipe it was the recipe for the ring that gives you 10 strength if I'm not mistaken and it requires you to have one uh, Cyclops eye and I guess you need 3 out of 3 animal trophies to actually uh, get that from him when you actually kill him because I killed a bunch of Cyclops and I didn't get the eye so you probably need 3 out of 3 to get that so yeah and when I finally uh, got the required stats I need for Ignis I really grown to like this weapon and two handers in general so I decided I actually actually don't want to stick only to ranged weapons and I want to use some more stronger uh, two-handed weapons later on and I started investing points in strength more and as you can see now my dexterity and strength is almost the same now and that allows me to, to carry a rank 3 fire warrior sword that does a lot of damage and as I mentioned in my previous video it's probably one of the best uh, melee two-handed weapons in the game. I wanted parry strength at least one point because we talked about this ability before too many times and you know how useful it is for you to not get staggered and you need constitution for that. Uh, I believe it was 25 or 30 don't 
believe me, but something like that. Then I started uh, pumping some points into Constitution at that point. That was actually around level 17, 18 or something. Every point I got I invested in Const Constitution to get that ability. The other ability I regret I didn't work towards is Heavy Punch. It increases the damage of your special attacks and I really wanted to get that but when I saw Conning I decided I will not get that like explained before I didn't want to uh, lose any points and I wanted to get as much high dexterity as I possibly could and I still need around 4 points to be able to use Warball uh, rank 3 because I'm still using Warball rank 2 and Warball rank 3 requires 78 strength Melee weapons rank 3 requires you to have 85 strength which is really really high and I don't believe I'm going for that I won't sink any more points in strength to be honest I just got my attack strength to 2 out of 2 so I will be able to stagger even more with my two-hander For the other skills I have, I have a jetpack attack that I frequently use in survival skills we got 1 to fire resistance, 1 to frost resistance, 1 out of 3 in armor, like we said animal trophies 2 out of 3, good eater, this is a skill you should get early on actually, because if you don't want to make a bunch of uh, healing potions and look for plants, this will be an ability for you and even if you do want to be an alchemist and make those potions you, sh you should still get this because you will kill a lot of beasts and you'll take the role meat out of them and after that you'll cook it and you get a solid HP recovery from the food. We got sixth sense and this is actually from high-tech sunglasses. It shows you the enemies on your compass and yes it's not a minimap like a lot of people think that's the reason why it's not so detailed like the minimap in some games. It gets people confused because it looks just like a minimap in any other RPG but yeah we got extra hit points for extra health obviously and 1 out of 2 in stamina and you also need constitution for this around maybe 25 or 30 so this is before I took this uh, ability before I was able to make some stamina pots and upgrade my stamina like that moving on we got crafting that is modify weapons uh, goldsmith you can make rings and amulets at the workbench gemstone socket chemistry you can make Camps and potions. I mean, I only make potions because I'm a tree hugger berserker. <laughs> and that's pretty much it in crafting. Personality, I think I don't have. Yeah, <laughs> personality zero. I have zero personality, which is actually correct. I cry every time. <laughs> I wanted to get uh, maybe balanced, uh, which gives you a melee damage bonus if your cold level is between 40 and 60 and I believe my cold level is maybe between those two numbers. I don't believe I'm emotional, but since you can't see your cold level and you can only see the, the there called intuitive, you can only see the text and not actually the numbers, I don't know the design decision behind this but that's a topic for another video uh, so I have zero personality and like you saw before in Berserker we have only three invested points and one of them is just uh, Berserker 101 and we have Enchant Weapon and Scattershot and that's it! Like I said before, the, the ability I wanted from this, tree, from this tree is Aspect of the Warrior spell. If my build was a, a magic-oriented berserker, I would obviously take as much as I could magic here, mana, uh, camouflage spell even, that cuts the enemy detection radius in half. I actually had a, uh, I believe it was a necklace that uh, gives you this camouflage spell. When you equip it, it gives you camouflage and this can be really useful uh, for the beginning of the game if you don't want to aggro the, the whole map when you run around and explore. This can be a really good choice, but I ended up selling it. So yeah, <laughs> Spirit Wolf sounds cool, Sense Life also, and that's pretty much it for my abilities. And I of course had the magic that you get every time you get promoted like you can choose uh, what you want to get when you get promoted every time but you'll end up with all the with all the elements of magic by level 25 anyway but as you could see in my videos I actually 
barely use this maybe sometimes but I saw it has a lot of potential for a new build that it can be a really cool uh, well maybe not a pure mage you'll still have to use some melee weapons maybe but for the most part you can be a quote-unquote mage berserker and I'll probably do that in the future but not soon like you probably know every uh, of these magic abilities have three modes if you will uh, Fireball can detonate on impact, fire projectile, a projectile made of fire, <laughs> you don't say. Creates and flame jet that creates a continuous flame jet. Same from the, for the uh, fists of ice and fists of poison. So yeah, I just got the paladin's armor, I just got the, enough L exit to, to buy it actually, it was 20k and it was painful because I made the Warrior Fire Sword 3 maybe one day before that and I was actually broke because it also requires a bunch of exit. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I still got my Warrior Pants. I don't have Paladin Pants. It's not that important really. Like I said in, my, uh, in the comment of my last video that the white effect you see on my character is Amulet on Defense, of Defense which gives you a one time second chance during combat and you have to re-equip it after that to be able to use it again and that actually is the spell from the clerics which is called the same as the amulet, the last stand ability and I think this is really cool that you can get uh, the other faction's abilities through items and yeah I'm a berserker with uh, cleric ability you can see how it looks, you already saw I think it looks like this looks pretty cool actually and when you jump and there you go we're alive but the effect is gone and I'm at full health <laughs> it's a great uh, thing to have on yourself especially if you die a lot so yeah it's a great amulet and I love it so yeah guys that's pretty much it my build is not oriented toward berserkers abilities which is ironic <laughs> actually and it was my first character, I didn't really care that much for it to be min-maxing or something and I'll probably focus more my uh, attribute points in my next playthrough which should happen pretty soon and I might actually make a, a let's play maybe but even if I don't make a let's play of my next playthrough I will make videos about it and yeah guys that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel for more content and i'll see you in the next one